One day, when Brother Heinrich and Sigismund were working as usual at the wine press, one of the other brothers came running up to them. Uh, Brother Heinrich, he said, still out of breath, the abbot wants to see you immediately. Brother Heinrich groaned. The abbot, who was the head of the monastery, was always complaining and interfering, and when he wanted to see people it usually meant trouble. Oh, what does he want, Brother Joseph? asked Brother Heinrich. I don't know, but you better hurry, answered Brother Joseph. So Brother Heinrich hurried off to the abbot's room and knocked at the door. Come in, said the abbot rather sourly. Brother Heinrich came in. The abbot was sitting at his desk, reading a long and important... One day, when Brother Heinrich and Sigismund were working as usual at the wine press, one of the other brothers came running up to them. Uh, Brother Heinrich, he said, still out of breath, the abbot wants to see you immediately. Brother Heinrich groaned. The abbot, who was the head of the monastery, was always complaining and interfering, and when he wanted to see people it usually meant trouble. Oh, what does he want, Brother Joseph? asked Brother Heinrich. I don't know, but you better hurry, answered Brother Joseph. So Brother Heinrich hurried off to the abbot's room and knocked at the door. Come in, said the abbot rather sourly. Brother Heinrich came in. The abbot was sitting at his desk, reading a long and important-looking letter. He looked up. Brother Heinrich, he began, I have just received this letter from the archbishop. He tells me that he will be travelling through this part of the country on important business at Christmas time, and he'd like to come in person to our Christmas morning service and Christmas dinner afterwards. The abbot looked cross. He didn't like the archbishop's visits very much, because they meant lots of cleaning and tidying and telling everyone to be on their best behaviour. The other monks didn't mind, though. The archbishop was plump and jolly, and he never seemed to notice even if things were a bit untidy. He 